To help you document why you store and process personal information, there are two lists in SuperOffice you can configure to support your company's specific GDPR policies. In this video, we will show you how to add and edit the list for privacy sources and how to add and edit the list for privacy legal basis. To edit privacy lists in SuperOffice, you need to have administrator rights. Let's begin by showing you how to add and edit the list for privacy sources. Log into SuperOffice and go to the main menu in the top right corner. Choose Settings and Maintenance from the drop-down menu. Next, click on Lists in the navigation menu on the left-hand side and type Privacy. You will automatically see all the lists that contain the word Privacy. Let's click on Privacy Source. You'll see that there is a default list of all the different ways that a company can receive customer details. As with all lists in SuperOffice, you can use, change, or delete these to fit your needs. Let us show you how to add a new source. First, click the Add button at the bottom. You are now in the Edit List Item dialog. Start by adding the name. In this example, we will add a new source called Event. Next, you need to add the key code. This code is a unique identifier that lets other system integrations recognize your new list item. It needs to be independent upon language and other fields you may have added. Even if you are not integrating with another system, it is necessary to add this. Therefore, let's add the key event. Next, you have to decide whether you want to send a confirmation email to the new contacts that are added to your database by this source. The standard confirmation email looks like this. This email will inform the person that he or she is now registered in your database. It is also an opportunity to secure e-marketing permissions because it will include the link to where the person can subscribe and manage their mailing preferences. To activate the automated confirmation email, tick this box and you'll see that the template field becomes available. Now click behind Use Template to select the template you wish to use. In this example, we will choose the template Privacy Confirmation Email. If you want, you can have a separate template for every privacy source, or you can use the same template. This can either be the standard template provided by SuperOffice, or you can make your own versions. This is up to you. Adding new or editing existing templates is done by going to the list item called Document Template. For now, let's continue with our privacy source example. It's always helpful to add a description which will appear as a tooltip to the users. You can add it here. If you have users that use SuperOffice in a different language, you have the option to add your source in multiple languages. Click on the AX logo to add additional languages. SuperOffice supports 15 different user languages. Finally, click Save and the new Privacy Source event is ready to be used. Now, let us show you how to edit the legal basis list. Click on Privacy Source at the top and choose Privacy Legal Basis from the drop-down menu that appears. This list contains all the legal bases that are required by the GDPR regulation. From here, you can pick the reason for why you are storing or using personal data in your CRM solution. Just as you did with a privacy source list, you can modify this list to suit your needs. To do this, all you have to do is to add the name of the new legal basis, and again, don't forget to add a key code. The key for consent withdrawn, for example, is withdrawn. Click Save to store the new legal basis. We have now shown you how to add and edit the list privacy source and the privacy legal basis. For more information on how to improve your productivity with SuperOffice CRM, please visit our community website.